guys, this is Social Fire, and I'm back today doing something a little different again. I like to change it up periodically. Um, and we are doing a quiz here called, Which Dragon Ball Z Character Are You? So I thought it would be fun for me to take this and find out and share it with you guys. And I'll post it down in the description below in case you want to do it too. So obviously I would love to get Trunks or Bulma or anybody like that, but we'll see who's actually included. So this is on ProProfs.com. And considering it was uploaded just a few days ago, I'm assuming it's pretty up to date as far as the characters involved, but we'll see what happens. So starting with question number one, an enemy finds you, you will try to take this fight somewhere else, power up and right away smash them with a finish move, tell them you don't wish to fight to give you more time, tell them not to make you angry, make fun of them, destroy them along with their planet, absorb them or turn them into any treat you desire. So let me think about this because personally uh, there's one or two options here. So turning them to any treat I want gets rid of them and then I also end up with a tasty snack which is like a bonus. Um, or I would probably tell them not to make me angry, <laughs> threaten them. So maybe they can just go ahead and leave anyways. Hmm. We will... Tell them not to make us angry. Question two, the first thing you would do after a great battle is eat a lot, start training, start your meditation, make a quick getaway so you don't miss class, boast about your win after all I deserve that, let the universe know you won't be defeated, take some time to find your new opponent or sleep. So first off, I'm gonna ask why that looks like a picture from World of Warcraft up there. I'm pretty sure it is, so I'm not sure what that's doing in this quiz. But anyways, moving on from that, um, this one's easy for me because if I want to fight like that, I'm going to be telling everybody about it. So boast about your win because I'm going to be bragging, probably making a video on it. So that's an easy choice right there. Question three is your enemy is right in front of you entirely charged up. You wait for their first move, immediately charge them with everything you got, Ask them what their deal is. Try your best to intimidate them. Use fusion and get it over with. Show them your true power. Laugh at their weak power or try to eat them at their full power. I wonder who that sounds like. Um, anyways, what would I do? Would I intimidate them? Would I charge them? I would show them my true power. I feel like that's what I would do. Question four, you have collected all seven Dragon Balls. You give your wish to someone in need, wish for more power, wish to bring someone back from the dead, wish for some time off of school, wish for more fusion time, wish for eternal life, you don't need a wish, or all the chocolate and candy that you could desire. Um, so right off the bat, I definitely do need a wish. So we're going to take the second to last one out. And I do not want eternal life because that would get boring after a while. So I definitely don't want to live forever. Um, and I'm not going to waste it asking for time off of school. <laughs> so what would I do? I don't need all the chocolate and candy I could eat. That could be a problem after a while. <laughs> Do like chocolate and stuff, but don't quite need that one. So I like to think I would give it to someone in need or use it for someone who needs it. Um, so you know what? We'll go with that one. Question five. You have hit your enemy with everything you have and they are still standing. You ask for Earth's energy. If you're going to die, you're going to take them with you. Stand there shocked. Find your latent power, talk your way out of there, destroy the planet they stand on, self-destruct with all your power, or start yelling at them. <laughs> Just start yelling. Um, no, what would I do? It's two options. It's if you're gonna die, I'm gonna take them with me, or find your latent power. I'll say find your leading power. 
All right, question six. An enemy terrorizes the people of your planet. You find them and give them a fight of a lifetime. Wait for them to find you. Get somewhere safe and start training. Dress up as a superhero and find them. Fly in circles around them to make them dizzy. Send the soldiers to do the job. Find them to challenge them or watch the show. Um, so I'm not gonna dress up as a superhero. Uh, I'm not trying to be the great Simon here. What would I do? And I'm not gonna waste time waiting for them to come find me. I know that. I'm gonna say the first one. Find them and give them a fight of a lifetime. All right, question seven. You find out there is someone stronger than you. Your reaction is happy to find someone that could teach you new things. Angry at the fact that you aren't the strongest. That one sounds like Vegeta. Um, don't care. Can't be stronger than your dad. Tell them you are the strongest. Kill them. Challenge them or start acting like a baby. I would challenge them. That one's pretty easy too. I like a good challenge. So I think I'd go with that option. All right, question eight. Your enemy throws such a powerful attack that could destroy your planet. You would smack it away like it's a petty move. Let it hit you and regenerate later. Try to reflect it into the sky. Throw your strongest super attack at it. Hope someone will come to help. Push it back at them. Let the attack chase you off the planet or let them destroy it. Um, definitely not the last two. I like to think that it would be the first one, um, just smacking it away like it's nothing, but I'm not gonna be that cocky about things. Um, I would just say throw my strongest attack at it. Just give them everything I got. So question nine is you were faced off with an opponent in a tournament. You wish them the best of luck. Show them they are nothing compared to you. Stay quiet and see what they have or what they got. Hope you still have the moves. Tell them there's no way they can win. Show them the greatest power in the universe. Start the fight ASAP or smile to show your confidence. So for me, it's two. It's either smile to show your confidence or show them the greatest power in the universe. Uh, like I said, I like to think that I would be strong in this situation. Um, I'm gonna say the last one though. Just stay cool and just smile to show them that you're confident. All right, here's the last one guys. So it's question 10. If you wanted to use a high attack, it would be, oh, well, this is gonna be hard. Um, spirit bomb, final flash attack, special beam cannon, full power Kamehameha, super exploding ghost attack, Death Saucer Attack, Full Power Death Beam, or Genocide Blast. Okay, that's all the options. So, Spirit Bomb's always a good one. And then Full Power Kamehameha is a good one too. But um, if I'm being honest, I personally like the Final Flash Attack. So, I'm gonna go with Final Flash. Um, I feel like most people would probably pick Spirit Bomb, of course, or the Kamehameha, but I'm gonna say Final Flash. So, who am I? I got Vegeta. Okay, so Vegeta, it says, you are the last of the great race that was pushed to a halt. You are a proud Saiyan warrior who thirsts for the better in nemesis. You never take it easy. It's all or nothing with you. Yeah. Um, your enemies have learned that they are not to be pushed, that you are not to be pushed, or else you will do anything for that extent of the power to show the universe once and for all that you are the legendary Super Saiyan. So. And I think I'm a bit nicer than Vegeta, but I could definitely see having some things in common, so I'll take it. So I got Vegeta. Let me know in the comments who you got if you decided to take the quiz. And like I said, this is just for fun. Um, I like to change it up occasionally. So you can let me know if you enjoyed this or if this is something you would want to see again later on. So anyways, we'll wrap it up here, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.